Okay, when you teach students, you have a system. And uh, in this system, you have a teacher, you have a students, you have a classroom or place to teach, you have some materials and so on. So you have a component. Okay, and down materials and so on. So this is level of system, this is level of subsystems. But another point that any system is a part of another system. We can see, for instance, that our course, our training course, is a part of another super system. You are teachers, you, you need the knowledge, so that's why you apply this system as today training, as a subsystem. Network school. Oh, network school. It's not only network of school. In fact, in case of super system, Institution if, you, if you do understand the notion of suprasystem, the relation between suprasystem and system quite the same like between system and subsystem. Because for this suprasystem, if you take it as a system, this one is a subsystem. Okay? So, we have a three levels, subsystem, system and suprasystem. But with a suprasystem, we, uh, we have several of them. For instance, for the one system, for the one system we can recognize that it is part of several super systems. And we can continue this. 